hello and welcome to the channel. Much love goes out to you today. Thumbs up would be appreciated and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Today we are going to be reviewing the C24G1, the 24 inch first series of the curved 144 hertz monitor from AOC. We're going to be taking a look at it, we're going to be doing a unboxing and we're going to do a quick review, see if it's putting out that 144 hertz or if it's close and see how the gameplay there we go. looks. <laughs> And I clearly kind of get a feel games for its while. build quality. Is it for you? Well, I've been using it for a little while now, and I'll keep you guys updated in the comment section down below on any issues if I do have them, such as dead pixels, bad refresh rates, or any other power issues. We'll also be taking a look at power consumption and if it overall is a good choice for you. Uh, let's go ahead and dive into it, guys. Got a display port cable. Excellent. Thank, thank God that came in there because I didn't have one. <laughs> Talk about being unprepared for a video. There we are. C24 G1 computer, 24 inch. We'll just pull this stuff out. Here's our stand, our bottom stand. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna undo this. Beautiful. Look how nice that looks. That looks great. Buttons are there on the bottom, as you can see, for easy control. Uh, so far it looks nice, but what really matters is if it works well. Wow, that's got some weight to it in there on that metal piece. See that there? Alright, let's go ahead and check out the power consumption coming from the monitor when we have it up and running. We're going to plug it in right here. Got the AC option on. Our monitor is now running. And let's take a look at that power consumption. I'm going to go ahead and play my video just to see what it does. Opening up the NVIDIA control panel, we're going to be able to choose the AOC 24G. And we're going to come down here to PC 1920 by 1080. And we're going to make sure 144 hertz is on. Coming down here, we're going to hit apply and see what happens. All right. Yes, I would like to keep the changes. Looks like things are looking real smooth and fast now. All right, let's take a look at the options down below here. We've got our picture control settings. Um, so let's go ahead and open that up. We've got luminance. I didn't change any of the settings because I was actually happy with how it looked just outside the box, as is. OSD setup, game settings. We've got FreeSync on. I am running the FreeSync on my computer to get our 144 hertz. We've got some extras, exit, illuminance, and uh, image set up. Well, a few, few good options there for you to toy with if you want to go ahead and play with your color settings. But overall, I'm very happy with how it looks already. One of the reasons I got this monitor was because of its ability to be adjusted up and down. It actually slides very smoothly and it's quiet. It seems like the stand design was well designed and it's never given me any issues. I can really appreciate that because when I'm sitting down, I need something comfortable for my neck so I'm not breaking my neck trying to view my screen from way down here. Well, one of the reasons that I'm upgrading from my old LG monitor from 10 years ago. Down here to give you a better clarification, we're at 144 frames per second at a refresh rate of 144 hertz. So we're looking good there on our first test, but 
that doesn't mean a lot to us if we don't have a good picture, right? What's going on, you guys? We are out here on the Harney Peak or Black Elk. Okay, and taking a look here at our gameplay, I've got Etora pulled up. We're over here in uh, Mushroom Land, of course. I know this isn't the most three-dimensional game out there, but bear with me. We're currently running at about 240 frames per second or so on average. Beautiful artwork. Love the artwork. Wow. Spider Cave. Well, let's get into Spider Cave, shall we? There we go. I clearly haven't played games in a while. Not looking all that great, but we're gonna try to make it look decent. Oh baby, a little poison down there. We're just getting them. Boing, boing. You're not supposed to go down there, huh? Oh, guess you're not supposed to go down there either, huh? Whoopsie daisies. You're not feeling too good. Jumping on the mushroom, jumping on the shroom. Hey, that's a big mushroom, baby. Ba boom, baby. My final thoughts on this monitor. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it for you? I definitely think it's a thumbs up from me. It's been a great monitor while I've been using it. Any issues that I have in the future, I'll let you guys know in the comments down below, just as I have with my previous monitor review videos. Check out my pre chen monitor review if you haven't seen that yet. Overall, its wattage pull out of the outlet is 20 watts on average, which is actually half of my old 24-inch flat LG monitor uh, from about 10 years ago. Excellent monitor. The LG still works great, and it's even been uh, through a few falls and tumbles. Uh, I don't plan on doing this with the AOC. Uh, we're going to try to take a little better care of it. <laughs> but yeah, it's been excellent. Um, the AOC has a nice matte finish to it instead of that reflective display you often will see with most monitors. The non-reflective matte display makes it much easier to look at because it's not having this reflective light from the household lights or outdoor lights coming back in your face. So it's a little bit easier on the eyes. I don't feel as strained when I'm looking at it. Another thing I love about the monitor is the fact that it's not only tiltable uh, from top to bottom, it can also be lifted up and down. And because of that capability, I'm not over here breaking my neck by looking down at a monitor, even though my table height is not really adjustable. I don't have an adjustable table, but that might be a consideration for the future. 
Another thing that I really like about it is the 144 hertz. For, for those of you who are not familiar with that, it's just the rate at which the monitor is refreshing. So the fact that my OnePlus 7T can actually handle um, the 90 hertz refresh rate, you can see the difference between my phone and many older phones that don't have the faster panel. It just makes it look more fluid. This one being 144 hertz is extremely fluid. I think it does a very nice job. Are there better ones on the market available um, for, for more money? Yes, there are, but at this price point, I don't know about that. There's not gonna be a whole lot of competition from at least what I've seen. I used to help sell some of these types of monitors uh, a while back when I worked in store as a third party rep, and I was able to help and get uh, people on the right track with their monitors. It has a really good contrast ratio. You can tell by looking at the videos and the gameplay that I did briefly there that the color is very nice. It's, it's got a nice wide range to it. No complaints here. My old LG monitor had a very high contrast ratio and it was really good. And you can still see today that it's got some competition. Um, paid $220 for the LG monitor at 60 Hertz. I paid $144 for a uh, 144 hertz um but anyway yeah 144 hertz is pretty smooth it's looking good good it's looking good guys and the, <laughs> and the one thing that i like the most is actually the curvature i thought that i might not like it i see some people like do i choose the curve do i choose the flat the curved monitor is such a pleasure to look at i have uh, much more fun, much more enjoyable experience looking at a slightly curved monitor over the flat screen. And um, I was kind of worried about how I would feel about it. But now I realize that uh, the curved monitor seems to be an excellent choice. And then I also think it kind of keeps the flat reflective surface away from reflecting more light back at you since the light hits it at a curved angle it's not reflecting directly back in your face but it's a matte display overall i think it's excellent i think it's a great purchase i'm sure you'll be very happy with it as long as you don't have any dead pixels as i've seen in some of the reviews uh, i don't know what the case is with those i think it's possible um, every so many units are probably going to have some kind of defect at some point but overall great build quality very easy setup high quality uh, display port and power cable that came with it. Uh, no issues here on my end, no dense pixels, and I really love the thin bezel. So you guys got a thumbs up for me. I'm gonna have to give this one five stars. Appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed today's review, don't forget to leave a like, comment down below what kind of monitor are you looking for? 